let's take a look at how to resolve some of those tricky label position things that come up in QGIS. I've got a map I've made here and I've got a world cities layer and we're focused on Greece. And then I've got two world countries layer. The green layer is just Greece because I have filtered it just to show Greece. And then there's a gray layer to show the neighboring countries. And I have filtered this one so it's not showing Greece. So that's the country layers. And then I've got a cities layer and I've filtered it. It's got cities for the whole world. I've filtered it. And the filter here is country equals Greece and population is over 125,000. So if I click on OK, we can see it kind of looks OK, but there's a couple of issues. There are a few cities as defined in our data set in the Athens area and they're overlapping and it's not very nice. So what can we do here? There's a number of different things we can do in terms of position. So let's take a look at that. Let's first of all, go to the world countries layer and we'll double click it and we'll turn on in labels, we'll turn on single labels and we'll use name to label the country and the text section, we'll change it to size 18 bold. And in this case, I'm using Poppins as the font. You may not have this on your machine, but I do. I'll click. What I'll do with the color actually, I'll click on the color drop down and then choose pick color. And I'm gonna pick the green from the map and then I'll click on the color patch. And if I move it over, I'll just drag the V value, which is gonna make it dark, I'll drag that down. So it's the same kind of color tone, but I'm making it darker. It just makes things match up a little bit better. Now the grease label, quite annoyingly, is in a place where we don't want it. I think I'd also want to make it uppercase for the country name, so I'll double click world countries any in the layers panel on the left to bring up the properties and there's a couple of ways you can make it uppercase if i go to formatting and then type case i can go to all uppercase or in the value box i could just type the word upper open a bracket and close bracket at the end round the name value so that would do the same thing okay that's fine but the label's in a place where I don't really want it. Now, to manually move a label in QGIS, you can do it via the labeling toolbar. It's got these kind of buttons. If you don't see it, you can just go to View, Toolbars, and then you'll see the Label Toolbar. Mine's on already. And the one to move a label, mine's a bit hidden right now, it's the one that's got an arrow in it. So I'm gonna press that. I'm gonna make sure I've got my World Countries Any Layer selected because the Greece label is in that. Then I'm going to click on Greece and when I do I'll get a little pop-up and it'll say something you might not understand but you can click OK. So I'll click on it. It's asking about using a primary key. All you need to do there is click OK. Then you can click on the label and drag it to somewhere more appropriate. So that's very useful. Now the Greece label is where I want it to be. That's fine. But what about these overlapping labels? Um, Peristeri, Athens and Piraeus, they're not great. So what can we do there? Well, we could do the same thing with this layer and move labels around, but it's still gonna be a bit tricky. I probably here want to get rid of one of the labels. I don't want three labels in the same place. So Peristeri, I will just click on the table and what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm going to look at the look at the labels. So on my computer, I don't have a simple, straightforward way to type this particular E. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the cell where the city name for Peristeri is. I'm going to right click and copy cell content. And I'll show you why I'm doing that because I'm going to filter this out. So in world cities, I'm going to do that same filter, but I'll add and city is not and then I'll paste in the value for that city let's just check I've done this right move this out of the way a bit like that I test that okay that's good so I just I just use and is not so I'm removing one city okay that's fine now I want to move the labels around so we'll go to the world cities layer and then I'll move this window over a bit so we can see what we're doing. 
what I want to do here is in labels and placement, we can choose cartographic, but usually it's on that by default. And that will try and find a good position for the labels. We could put all the labels a little bit further away from the points. So I'll adjust that up to say 1.5. If I click apply, you can see it gives them a bit more breathing room, but what that does to the Piraeus label, it makes it further away, so it's not ideal. So what I typically do in this situation is a number of different things. I would try, first of all, to just click, take this back down to 0 0.5. Okay, fine. Click OK. That might work, but if you wanted to move the labels around manually, you can go back to the label toolbar and I can click this. <clears throat> and then uh, if I want to move around Thessaloniki, I can click on it. We get that pop up. We can click OK. <clears throat> and I can move the labels around any way I want to. Like this. I can move Athens up here, the Piraeus label down here. So we can do that kind of thing, that works fine. If I wanted to reset that now though, one thing to notice is when that little pop-up came up about the primary key, what it actually did is if you go to your layer properties and go to labels, there's a section in the placement part of that where the coordinate X and Y are now defined by something else. So the placement for this label is now defined by the moves that we made using the label toolbar. So I can actually deactivate these two and click apply and it'll go back to normal. So that's kind of how to undo these manual moves. So I'll click OK again. And then one other thing we can do is, this sometimes is quite nice to do for moving labels. <clears throat> Pardon me. If I go to callouts in the label section and draw callouts, and you can use simple lines. I like curved lines. You can use Manhattan lines or balloons, but curved lines is what I'll use. And this means the label will have a curved line to the point, but it can be a bit tricky, so follow along. If I just click apply, we won't see much in the way of curved lines. Maybe if you look really closely, you can see it. But first of all, the that, that line goes right to the middle of my point. I don't like that. So we'll sort that in a minute. The label anchor point, that's not what we're looking for right now. It's a placement. What we want to do is move the distance a little bit just so you can see what it does. So if I, I use a distance of 10 for all of them, that would be fine. But for some, we don't need that. So I wouldn't do that for all of them. Probably what I'd do is change that distance to 0 0.5 like it was before. And then if I wanted to, I could maybe change that to two, like that. Actually, let's try four. Okay, the thing I don't like is how the line goes to the center of those points. Let me just check. I think it's label anchor point. Let me double check. No, that's not right closest point for that. The thing I'm looking for here is placement. Ah yes, of course. I realize now offset, what we want to do is we want to offset the line, the call out line from the feature. So if we do that by say 0 0.7 and hit apply. It's not quite big enough, but if we do it by one and hit apply, maybe more, 1.5 or 1.6, maybe even a bit more, 1.7, 1.8. Okay, so that means the line for the label only goes to the edge of the circle point. So if I click okay, you can see what I mean. We're gonna do a couple of other things. I'm gonna go to the, the label toolbar I'll choose the Athens label and I'll move it over here, a bit too far. I'll take Piraeus and move it down a bit, like that. So I'll move Athens a bit closer. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, we can do the same thing with other cities if we want to. But if we decided that, say we only really wanted these callouts to be to Athens and Piraeus, because all the other ones don't need them, then how could we do that? Well, 
Let's take a look at the World Cities properties. And we've got callouts drawn, but there's a little box here which means we can use an expression to only have callouts in certain ones. So if I click on that and go to edit, here's the expression we'll use. So first of all, we're going to type the words case when it doesn't matter if you have it on one line or hit return or have a number of lines. I just like to do it to keep it neat like this. So case when, and then I'm going to go to fields and values when city is in the following list. So I've got city selected. I'll click all unique because that's going to list all the labels we've currently got on. So when city in Athens, comma, Piraeus. And then I'll close those brackets. What's happening here is when the city is either Athens or Piraeus, then one, one means it's going to have a call out on, else zero, and then we type end. So what's happening here is we're telling QGIS when the city name is in this list, Athens or Piraeus, then one, one means use a call out, else means otherwise, zero, zero means don't draw a call out and we type end at the end otherwise it doesn't work so if I click OK and then apply and OK we can see that um, we've only got call outs on Athens and Piraeus now because we used a distance figure the other labels are quite far away so let's fix that by going into properties again and going into placement let's make the distance 0 0.5 and click apply uh, we may need to deactivate these there we go. And now, last of all, go back to label toolbar. Look at move a label. We'll move Athens over here and Piraeus over there. So you can see how, yes, it is a bit fiddly when you're getting used to it, but it's super flexible and you can put things exactly where you want to. And that's how you would solve this kind of problem. Labels, you never quite know where we're going to land up because we've got different countries, different cities, different patterns for places, and then we might just want to do stuff manually. If I want to move the Larissa label finally, because I think it's too far away, I can click on it and move it a bit closer. So it is super flexible. You just need to become familiar with where to look. And in this case, I was in the World City section and I've used some manual placement. And then for the callouts, I wrote an expression where we only have a call out for the two cities that are closest together. Hopefully you find that useful and you can implement that in your own projects.